Shawty's like a melody in my head that I can't keep out. Got me singing like na 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 na. Every day it's like my iPod stuck on replay, replay. Shawty's like a melody in my head that I can't keep out. Got me singing like na 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 na. Every day it's like my iPod stuck on replay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you how to get the replay mod with Optifine installed as well on the same client. Before we get into things, I'm just letting you know that I stream three days a week over on twitch.tv forward slash epic hood ninja. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description. But without further ado, let us jump into things. So I'm sure you guys have looked this up before and you just can't figure out how to get Optifine and Fabric on the same client. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And the first page when you probably search up replay mod is going to bring you to this replay mod page. So we're going to click the latest download. This is for 1.16.2. So click that and it'll open up a, an ad fly link and you can just press download there. Start downloading in the bottom left. Now that that's done, we'll take you to fabric loader, which if you just click this, it'll take you there. But the link is also in the description. It'll take you straight there. So you want to go to Download installer.exe, windows.exe, and just click that one. It'll automatically download it. You'll just press keep. Everything is safe. So just press keep and it should be fine. So that's also downloaded. Now we need this program called OptiFabric. So this is the one that allows us to use Optifine and Fabric Loader together in the same client. So I'll leave a link to this specific page, but if you can't find this, if you just Google OptiFabric, click files, this should be the first one that pops up. You need to make sure it says 1.16.2 uh, just there. If it doesn't, it should be down in one of these recent files somewhere because pretty much if you download the most up-to-date one, you'll be safe enough anyway, so it should be fine. Just press download right there and it will begin in five seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Perfect. And it should pop up down here as well. Just again, press keep. Cool. And the last thing we'll need is Nope, the second last thing we'll need is Optifine. So if you come to the Optifine website, click on downloads here, go preview versions. This is the most up-to-date version and it's probably best to get the most up-to-date version anyway. So just click download there. It'll bring you to an ad fly and just wait the five seconds. This helps the creators. So I would always recommend just waiting through it. Yep, if you just press skip in the corner, download the link there, it'll pop up. It'll also ask you to keep and it should be fine. Obviously ads pop up, but it's whatever. And the very last thing we're going to want to get is FFmpeg. So pick your operating system, leave the rest as it is, press download build. That should download to here. So I personally find it easier to work from desktop. So I'm just going to grab all of these drop them on my desktop just so that we can see them and know exactly where they are at all times. And that should be good. Now we can exit out of internet, out of the internet. Now we need to make sure that we've ran an instance of Minecraft 1.16.2 previously because it won't work if you haven't ran that, ver that specific version before. So just open up Minecraft, make sure it's 1.16.2 and just load it up. And once it's finished, then you can just exit out of it and we can start adding the files that we need to the game. Like I said, once it's opened up, you can just minimize that and exit out of it. We just need to run the instance of Minecraft. So the first thing we're going to deal with is the fabric installer. So just double click that. It'll bring up this little installer here. Just make sure it's 1.16.2. Everything else you can leave the same. Just press install. And just like that, it has been installed successfully and you can press done and exit. So that's fine, that's installed, easy. Now with these three, the replay mod, OptiFabric and OptiFine, they are the three mods. So if you come in to uh, type in run down in the bottom corner, uh, type in percent, app data percent, click enter, come up to the folder, should be the top folder called dot Minecraft, click on that everything should be here. Our fabric one is already installed, so that is perfect. Now we'll come down to mods. If you don't have it, you can simply just create a file, a folder, new folder, 
call it M-O-D-S, all lowercase. And that's good. We can double click on that, drag these three into there. Perfect. They are all in there now. Easy. Now we want to go back one into the .minecraft folder. Open up this FFmpeg here. It should run a command. You can extract, you can just extract to uh, desktop, should be fine. And that will give you this FFmpeg file over here, which we will use in just a second. Wait until everything's completely done. And then we can use this file, simple enough. So back in the .minecraft folder, you can take this FFmpeg, you can cut it from your desktop, right click and paste it into the .minecraft folder. Wait until this is done and it will uh, show up in the folder if you just refresh. It should pop up right there where it belongs. So everything should be working. So we can delete these from our desktop just to make things look neat. You know how it is, babies. Click on Minecraft, open it up. Now, you should see we have Fabric Loader 1.16.2. So you can click on that one, load it up. It might take a while because it is technically a new version of Minecraft. So just wait for this to be done. And now that it has loaded up, you can see that the replay viewer is now completely installed. So the replay mod is installed. If we go into a single player world, we'll go into season three testing world. You can see it says replay mod started. To pause, you just go into the uh, pause menu, click pause down in the bottom left hand side. You can stop recording, you can start recording. These are pretty much the two settings that you can use to record. I may post another video later on how to use the replay mod, but for now it's just the installer. And just to show you that Optifine is in fact enabled, you can zoom in, you can go in and change all of the video settings that Optifine allows you to change all the animations and everything. So that was just a quick little video showing you guys how to get Optifine and the replay mod in together. Now you can get those awesome cinematic cutscenes for your YouTube videos, or you can just play around with it for fun if you're into video making. Uh, it's a really useful tool for good time lapses, good cinematic shots, slow motion, all that kind of stuff. And now you're not forfeiting all the special features of Optifine because you can actually have them together. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. And like I mentioned at the beginning, streaming on Twitch three days a week and 24 hour stream charity stream next Thursday. So make sure you're there. Link in the description, obviously underneath all of the vital links that you need for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.